The topic of this video is solving absolute value inequalities. Let's look at a problem. Solve the inequality. Negative absolute value of the dis difference 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 7. Okay, let's go through the steps. First, replace the expression inside the absolute value bars with star. Next, get star alone. Well, the only thing that's on the left side of the equality outside the absolute value bars is this negative. And we know that this is actually the hidden number, negative 1. In fact, if I wanted to, I could replace this little hyphen with negative 1 times. Now, how am I going to get rid of this negative 1? Well, since the negative 1 is multiplying, I'll do the opposite. I will divide the entire left side by negative 1 and the entire right side by negative 1. But when I do, I have to remember to flip the sign. All right, so this negative 1 and this negative 1 are going to cancel. And on the left, I'll have the absolute value of star. Students that make mistakes in this problem often make a mistake right here at this step, and they drop their absolute value bars. Remember, the absolute value bars still have to be there. Only the negative 1s have been canceled, not the absolute value bars. So I have the absolute value of star is less than or equal to, because I'm flipping my sign, 7. All right, so distance is less than or equal to 7. That's like a dog on a leash. So I could have the dog anywhere between these two spots, any between, anywhere between negative 7 and 7. And when I write that as an inequality involving star, I put star in between negative 7 and 7. I get my less than type symbols in both places, and because this problem says or equals and we have brackets, these are both or equals type. Now put star back the way it was. In this problem, star used to be 2x minus 3. Now solve the combined, also known as three-part inequality. Add 3 in the middle, and on the right, and on the left. And we get negative 4 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2. Actually, divide in all three areas. And we get negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. Now, some problems of this type will require you to create a number line for your final answer. This doesn't happen to be one of them, but it doesn't take too long to do, so I'll just do it very quickly. Remember, this is a between type inequality, so that means that we would be shading in between the numbers negative 2 and 5. So our final answer would look like this. This is the inequality, and this is the number line graph. 